history, we find a recurring phenomenon. Women who are so spectacular, so bold and brazen, that when they stand up, the world takes note. Unabashedly feminine, sexy, and powerful to boot, these women seem to defy everything we've been told about how to behave. From Josephine Baker to Jacqueline Kennedy, Wallace Simpson and even Erica Badu, there is an elite sorority of women who break barriers in hearts, command respect and awe, and who live and love on their own terms. It's as if they're in on a secret that even today few of us know, and that is, modern romance is a ruse, and our notion of femininity is flawed. For some 25,000 years, humans worshipped powerful, autonomous, and imminent goddesses. In Nana, in Sumer, Isis, in Egypt, in every ancient civilization on the planet, we find great goddesses who embodied femininity in its highest expression. Vitality, intuition, sensuality, emotional depth, and the fierce ability to inspire both fear and love. They ruled alongside bold, courageous warrior gods in civilizations where both masculine and feminine principles were regarded as sacred. That is until about some 5,000 years ago, when war-centric patrilineal civilizations began their rapid ascent to power. These regimes established strict codes and sexual mores that undermined our biological sexual advantage, and one by one, those great goddesses were deposed and written out of history. Creation myths were retold in ways that emphasized violence against women and their loss of power. These new myths represented a seismic cultural shift from which the world has yet to recover. Feminine and masculine energies were no longer intertwined. Now, they were opposed, and in this new world where manhood stood for strength, power, and virility, femininity was redefined to mean beautiful, compliant, and chaste. Even today, we are told that in order to be powerful, we have to think like a man, and in order to be liberated, we have to have sex like one. Western society has done much to malign the seductive woman. The woman who operates with such brazen autonomy and such electric vitality that she threatens to turn patriarchy on its head. He portrays her as a whore, as manipulative, as a femme fatale. Literally a deadly woman who will lead a man to his ruin. When in fact, seductive women are most often femme vitales. Women who win the words of Beyonce upgrade, upgrade their men. Erica Badu pushed her lovers to new creative heights. Jacqueline Kennedy edited John's speeches and won over voters with her charm. And Eva Peron helped Ron rise to power. But beyond inspiring monumental love and devotion and having her pick of men, the seductive woman recognizes her innate power as a woman and she wields it with finesse. Be a woman of your own making. Live and love on your own terms. Reclaim your power. Visit womenlovepower.com